You know that moment when you're eating something and mid-bite, an almost imperceptible tap on your shoulder tells you, enough. It's not your willpower gasping for air or the judgmental voice in your head. No, it is way cooler and sneakier than that. It's your gut itself, collaborating with trillions of microscopic party animals, your microbiome, sending a perfectly timed memo that interrupts your feast. This biological tap dance has been nicknamed the second brain, but after this year's brilliant findings from Duke University, maybe it is time to give your gut a front page headline, and this is what I will talk about today at Knowing is Winning. So, deep in your colon, a tiny brigade of cells called enteric neuropods stand like savvy nightclub bouncers scanning the crowd for messages. They sport remarkable sensors, toll-like receptor 5S, so TLR5, which are finely tuned molecular antennas for a specific bacterial protein known as flagellin. Picture flagellin as the DJ's signature baseline. The whip-like tail protein common to motile bacteria cutting through the microbial noise. When these neuropods catch flagellin cruising by, TLR5 springs to life, unleashing a rapid-fire response. They release peptide YY, a hormone that's basically the microscopic equivalent of a polite but firm shout. Hey, party is over. This PYY then rockets up to vagus nerve, the um, superhighway, if you would, connecting your gut ni nightlife to your brain's control tower, telling your cerebral cortex, time to tap out, buddy. So, visualize your gut as a crowded dance floor where messy wild bacteria spin microbial beats instead of music, and your neuropods are the VIP guests wired directly to the neural sound system. Take away the TLR5 receptor from these cells in mice and the party turns into a bottomless buffet with no closing time. These mice keep munching endlessly, packing on the pounds like there is no tomorrow, completely oblivious to the microbial DJ's council set. The plot thickens with germ-free mice. Those are raised in sterilized bubble rooms with barely a microbe inside. These mice still respond to flagellin when researchers deliver it straight to their colons. This proves the signal itself, independent of the usual microbial drama backstage, can flip the appetite switch. It's like pressing mute on the microbial crowd noise, but the flagellin melody remains crystal clear. This discovery dramatically reshapes how we picture our digestion, pulling us back through evolutionary time. Half a billion years ago, our ancestors were little more than guts wrapped in muscle. No brain skull inside, just organs contracting rhythmically to move nutrients along. Evolution's first nervous system was exactly that, a floating digestive system that wiggled, pulsed, survived, and thrived without any cortical fanfare. The brain, that um, overachieving intern, arrived much later trying to hog the spotlight. Fast forward to today, and the gut still remains a powerhouse, producing over 30 types of neurotransmitters, including about 95% of the body's serotonin, the so-called happy chemical that keeps your mood in check. This isn't just about digestion anymore. It's about your feelings, your thoughts, the tiny tingles of anxiety or joy you might not even realize come from your belly. The gut-brain two-way chat is perhaps one of the most fascinating secret phone lines inside your body. The vagus nerve, a cabal of roughly 100 million fibers racing back and forth, shuttles electric signals, chemical messages, and hormonal dispatches across cities of cells. When your small intestine sniffs out sugar or fat, entering neuropods fire off signals within milliseconds, 
priming your cravings and taste preferences, a kind of a personalized menu scripting your uh, next bite. Now, the revelation that these gut whispers respond not just to food but also strongly to specific bacterial products like flagellin unveils a whole new level of conversation, a microbial morse code impacting your hunger like a personalized DJ set. Intriguingly, the brain responds differently depending on the message. Some neurons light up only for nutrients, others exclusively for microbial flagellin, and some react to both, like a finely tuned orchestra able to parse the subtlest of signals. This specificity suggests our gut senses the microbial world with a nuance rivaling senses like sight or hearing. Yes, sight or hearing. When the balance of gut microbes is disrupted, a state known as um, dysbiosis, it can lead to increased intestinal permeability. This leaky gut allows harmful molecules such as um, lipopolysaccharide to enter the bloodstream, triggering systemic inflammation that ultimately affects the brain. Elevated inflammatory markers may interfere with neurotransmitter systems, contributing to symptoms like uh, depression and anxiety. So our diet is one of the most powerful tools for reshaping this microbial community. Consuming a diet rich in fiber from fruits, vegetables and whole grains can rapidly increase beneficial bacteria such as Bifidobacterium, Lactobacillus and Roseburia. These microbes ferment fiber into short-chain fatty acids which have mood-enhancing effects. Fermented at, uh, probiotic foods like unprocessed yogurt, kefir um, or kimchi provide psychobiotics that support neurotransmitter production and reduce inflammation. In contrast, diets high in refined carbohydrates and saturated fats often promote the growth of pro-inflammatory microbes correlating with increased stress and anxiety. Polyphenols found in berries, tea and cocoa are complex plant compounds that gut bacteria metabolize into neuroactive molecules which help regulate brain immune cells and support cognitive resilience. Now, zooming out, the tiny microbial metabolites, the um, short chain fatty acids like um, acetate, uh, propionate and uh, uh, butyrate play the role of backstage managers, sadly tweaking the mood, inflammation and even our brain's ability to grow new neurons. These molecules emerge when fiber-loving bacteria ferment your leafy greens, essentially turning kale into coal. Kale, though, maybe is not a great example because it's, uh, it's been proven that this is, after all, not... Um, such a healthy vegetable as everybody has thought. Anyway, um, coming to the uh, topic at hand, um, lower levels of these helpers are found in people with depression and fascinatingly, butyrate supplements can ease anxiety and stress behaviors in animal models, a biological lullaby delivered from gut microbes to your brain. These findings have serious modern clinical implications. The chaotic post-COVID brain fog that many report might not be a mysterious chemical storm in the head alone, but a disrupted microbial mixtape in your gut. Imagine microbial DJs misfiring their signals causing the mental static and fuzziness. Understanding this could lead us to therapies that target your microbiome to clear the fog and reboot Cognition and futuristic science. At places like MIT, researchers are turning neuroscience into literal gut lighting shows. Using optogenetics, where light controls genetically engineered neurons, they toggle gut neurons on and off in mice and produce instant changes in fullness or reward-seeking behavior. 
It's like installing internal mood lighting in your intestines and turning the dial from cozy night in to wild party. Someday soon, you might be able to hack your own gut brain circuitry to overcome cravings or soothe anxiety without any pills, just flicking an internal switch. One, uh, one can't help but marvel at the role microbes play as neurotransmitter DJs, carefully cueing the tracks that influence our appetite and mood. They don't just passively live in our belly. They actively produce signals that can ultimately shape how much we eat and how we feel. The notion that these microbial symphonies could be behind behaviors and disorders from obesity to depression is no longer science fiction, but a burgeoning biological reality. So next time you pause mid-bite, that hesitation might not be your brain's indecision, but a beautifully choreographed gut dispatch, a tiny chorus of neuropods and microbes quietly negotiating your appetite and mood. Your gut feelings aren't just silly saying, but ancient layered conversations scripted by a hidden brain within the gut, one that evolved to keep you alive long before you, your head caught on and your brain actually developed. In the end, the gut doesn't just whisper to your brain, it frequently writes whole paragraphs of your story, sometimes funny, often profound and always surprising. It's the unseen director behind many scenes, making your body's many acts flow seamlessly. So whether it's telling you when to stop eating, nudging your emotions, or just keeping things moving, remember that gut is nothing less than an ancient, savvy brain with a microbial copilot spinning tunes that keep both of you dancing through life. And that, my friend, is a gut-busting punchline worthy of standing ovation for knowing is winning. Thank you very much for watching.